Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and CEO of the Consumer Technology Association, Gary Shapiro. Welcome to day two of CES 2016. I hope, like me, you're amazed at the new and emerging innovation on the show floor. Auto and vehicle intelligence, 3D printing, robotics, gaming and virtual reality, smart home, unmanned systems, health, and biotech. You know, to me, it's just truly mind-blowing to see the level of sophistication and creativity. And I urge you to check out the bright startups in the Eureka Park Marketplace, where more than 500 young companies are sharing their technology solutions and ideas, many for the first time. They're actually right below us in the lowest level of the sands. Well, this morning, we are so delighted to have a company with us that understands that innovation matters. Samsung believes in innovation that makes a meaningful difference. They work so hard to achieve this because they actually listen to their customers. They push boundaries. They build an ecosystem in which their products and services are seamlessly connected. They collaborate with partners and experts across industries. And they bring the technologies around the Internet of Things into people's everyday lives. Samsung is building IoT innovation that is in sync with people's daily lives by offering a new category of IoT home appliance that connects families to make life easier. And leading this pioneering effort is Dr. W.P. Hong, an established IT and mobile industry leader who serves as president of Samsung SDS and the head of its solution business. Now, before assuming his current position, he played a critical role in Samsung Mobile's emergence as a premier handset manufacturer and ecosystem provider by introducing the Galaxy franchise to Samsung's mobile portfolio. He also strengthened Samsung's content services for the company's mobile devices and its digital appliances. Prior to joining Samsung, he worked in the mobile industry, gaining experience both as a researcher and business person on the cutting edge of mobile technology innovations. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Hong, who will share Samsung's view of the Internet of Things. Thank you, Gary. Good morning, everyone. I want to talk to you about the future. Future is a funny thing. We all talk a lot about it. We sketch it, we map it, we watch the trends, and then one day it is here. It has to become a part of our lives. This year CES is just such a day. Our industry has talked about the Internet of Things for some time. All along, it was Samsung's IoT strategy to promote openness, interoperability, and cross-industry collaborations. These fundamentals will underpin the success of the Internet of Things. Looking back, I realize we have achieved a lot in a very short amount of time. I can now say the future is today. The Internet of Things is in sync with life, in sync with real life. We have put it to the test. Meet Steve and his friends. Let us hear what's happening when their lives become truly smart. Hi there. I jog every morning usually two to five miles. This morning I ran two miles and burned 211 calories. It motivates me to work out harder because it tracks everything. Sometimes after I exercise, I like to stop by the supermarket and see what I need. So even when I'm out, I can check my refrigerator and see what ingredients I'm missing. And when I get home, the refrigerator displays what I ran and how much I've burned. It also suggests recipes based on the ingredients I have. Recipe. Egg. So it's really convenient. Looks good. 
I'm a working mom with a 13-year-old son. I like that I can take care of him while I'm at work. My home adjusts to the optimal temperature before he's come home from a long day of practice. I also love the fact that I can check on my son whether he's home safely or not. has to walk into a dark garage. And even if he makes a mess, I never have to worry. In our backyard, Alex and I have a special greenhouse. We call it our magic greenhouse. <laughs> It automatically measures the ambient conditions in the greenhouse, so we always know that the plants are doing well. And I can adjust the temperature and the humidity to optimal conditions. And I've always been interested in technology. That's why I built the Magic Greenhouse. And we've been, we were surprised at what IoT could do for us, yeah. even with the gardening. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy all the time. It's great. <laughs> well, IoT takes care of me. IoT connects people. IoT is part of our lives. There you have it. People with real needs using today's Samsung IoT technology. Let me say it once again. The future is here. Future is today. The IoT ecosystem is emerging, and Samsung can lead this charge because not many companies have a device portfolio that is so cutting edge and covers the whole spectrum of consumer electronics, from the very components that power our digital world to networking, mobile devices, household appliance, and much more. And you can call on the expertise of the whole of Samsung across all sister companies, whether it's Samsung Electronics, Samsung SDS, Samsung SDI, or others. This gives Samsung a head start when it comes to IoT success. Samsung's IoT strategy rests on three pillars, devices, platforms, and the security. So let me first talk about the devices. Most of homes are full of smart devices. The problem, they do not talk to each other. That's why we are weaving connectivity into all our products. We give you the full power of IoT, wherever you need it. Samsung's key strength is that we do not just make outstanding devices. We also power them with our own innovative smart components. We have made them smaller, energy efficient, and connected. This brings smarts to all every objects in our lives. One good example is our bioprocessor, an extremely powerful all-in-one chipset for mobile healthcare. This bioprocessor looks after your heart by monitoring your ECG. It measures your respiration and keeps track of your body fat. It is our first step towards strong IoT growth in healthcare. I mentioned the energy efficiency. The Internet of Things rely on billions of tiny yet highly connected devices to work this device is neat, equally tiny, and extremely efficient power sources. That's why our sister company, Samsung SDI, has developed a new generation of batteries. To tell you more, here, here is Fabris Hudry of Samsung SDI America. Fabris. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. 
Good morning, everyone. Um, we all enjoy the three freedoms that batteries have given us. Thanks to them, we have energy whenever we need it or want it and wherever we need it. And what's great about it is we can get it from eco-friendly sources. Today, batteries are revolutionizing the transport industry by powering electric vehicles, but also revolutionizing, transforming the energy industry at large by finally allowing us to harvest and store large amounts of renewable, renewable energy. And now, right now, batteries are taking us into the age of the Internet of Things. Indeed, because the IoT depends ultimately on electric energy, we are also entering into the age of the batteries of things. Here is why and how. First, battery gives us uh, design flexibility, tremendous design flexibility. The IoT products need small, compact, and wearable batteries. That's why we, Samsung SDI, are developing batteries that are ultra slim, light, and bendable. The Stripe battery from Samsung SDI is a next generation battery that has fiber-like flexibility characteristics, as well as a very innovative energy density. If you look at it, it's just 0.3 millimeter thick, and we still expect it to power all kinds of wearable IoT devices, such as um, headbands, bracelet, necklace, all kinds of clothing. Number two, our batteries can be charged really quickly. As we know, we, we all get anxious, right, when our batteries are less than half full. And we and our customers really don't like to be waiting for those batteries to charge. That's why we've developed batteries that can charge to 50% in just a few minutes, quarter of an hour. These fast charging, high capacity batteries will enable the IoT ecosystem to flourish, and soon you'll see these batteries in many of the IoT devices. Third, batteries also enable the IoT to be eco-friendly. This is both true for wearables, and also for vehicles, whatever they are, whether it's bicycles to electric cars that are powered by our batteries. And one final but critical point is that the IoT ecosystem, as you know, depends on being always on, with data being sent, received, analyzed in real time at all times. This requires a stable, reliable, and resilient electricity supply. And this is especially true for data center. You can imagine that we really want to avoid IoT data blackouts, right? And this is why Samsung SDI's stationary energy storage systems already today offer a wide range of solution lineup for any size systems ranging from single household systems to very large power grid utility needs, ensuring that the IoT ecosystem is always online. This is truly why we, 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 uh, we are, why the age of the Internet of Things will also be an age of the batteries of things, underpinned by the design flexibility, the ease of charging, and the eco-friendliness of Samsung SDI batteries. Thank you very much. Many thanks, Fabrice. The IoT needs power, but also needs new user interfaces. And here we are getting help from some longtime partners, and I think we can call them friends. Please welcome Jeffrey Evanson from Kony. Jeffrey? Thank you, Dr. Hong. Corning and Samsung have been collaborating for more than 40 years, and we are excited to apply our expertise 
to help enable Samsung's smart ecosystem. Today, we're innovating in multiple areas that are vital to the Internet of Things. Our high-performance display glass enables lifelike images and versatile form factors that help dissolve the boundaries between the real and the virtual worlds. Our tough, thin, touch-friendly cover glass creates interfaces that are more durable, responsive, and pleasing to our senses. Our high-speed connectivity solutions deliver access to data, images, and video when and where you want. Let's consider how Corning's technologies can transform an appliance or other household surface into the center of the smart home. Our glass substrates can turn a refrigerator or a desktop into a display device that features the same ultra-high resolution that you enjoy on your Samsung smart TV or Galaxy phone. And as we transform appliances and other surfaces into touch interfaces, they must stand up to the abuses of everyday life. Corning's ultra-thin, damage-resistant Gorilla Glass, found on more than 4.5 billion mobile devices worldwide, continues to find new applications. Corning offers engineered glass and surface technologies that help make your home not only smart, but also safe and beautiful. For example, frequently touched surfaces can become magnets for microbes. Corning's antimicrobial Gorilla Glass has been demonstrated to kill more than 99% of offensive odor and stain-causing bacteria. But of course, whether it's an interactive appliance or the connected car of the future, the Internet of Things depends on transmitting massive amounts of data. IP traffic is expected to continue growing at more than 20% annually for the next five years and to exceed two zettabytes per year by 2020. Corning's optical fiber, wireless technologies, and other connectivity solutions deliver on-demand access to information and robust connections, whether you're surfing for a recipe online in your smart kitchen or streaming live video in a stadium. These are just a few examples of how Corning is helping to create a world of communication, collaboration, and connectivity. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. This was just a brief glimpse at innovations of Samsung and our partners around IoT components and devices. So here's the second IoT pillar that ties all together, platforms. A good IoT platform communicates with anything. Look for just one key word, interoperability. The Internet of Things must not be trapped inside the world garden of any one company's software. That is why Samsung's IoT is truly open and why we put customers in full control. The Smart Things Hub now connects a broad range of devices. And the Smart Things ecosystem has now grown to hundreds of certified devices and, most importantly, 20,000 developers and more than that. Any device manufacturer can connect to the platform through its open API. But the IoT ecosystem goes much deeper because we at Samsung and our partners are creating services that provide end-to-end -end end -end solutions for our customers. Partners like ADT and Scout Alarm offer professional monitoring services that gives peace of mind without the need for a long-term contract. Another example is energy, where our partner Encore helps to see energy usage per device, which makes it easy for consumers to save both energy and money. We believe in open partnerships. Samsung's devices are ready to talk to platform of your choice, not least thanks to our smart home cloud API for home appliances, which is industry first. Any service provider can incorporate Samsung devices 
into their own IoT ecosystems. Lois, check. Wink, of course. Network operators, most of them. Our open partnership approach is delivering already. Now we keep adding more great services. Across the board, we are working with top industry partners like GE, Cisco, and Intel. Our aim, we want to create a truly open connectivity framework for the Internet of Things. We call it IoTivity. It is an open source approach to connectivity, which we are going to roll out across the full spectrum of IoT applications. And we are making it really easy for developers to certify their services and the software and the devices because the Samsung IoT test framework is now available, freely available to developers. I've said it before, partnerships are the underpinnings of IoT success. So I'm really pleased to introduce you to our newest IoT partner, Microsoft. Please welcome Terry Myerson, Executive Vice President of Windows and Device Group at Microsoft. Terry. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having okay. us. Thanks, right. WP. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here today. Our companies have been partners for 30 years, delighting customers with Windows running on Samsung's broad portfolio of digital devices. But today, we're here to celebrate a renewed partnership between Samsung and Microsoft and a commitment to joint innovation. We're incredibly excited about this new device, the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S, designed for Windows 10. This device is thinner than a standard pencil. It's a detachable two-in-one, optimized for productivity and the entertainment, designed for consumers and the enterprise. It runs an Intel Core processor, running all Windows apps, and delivers 10 hours of battery life when watching a video full screen. This device will enable more people around the world to enjoy Windows 10. Windows 10 is now running on more than 200 million devices around the world, making it the fastest adoption of any Windows release ever. And in addition to the consumers, businesses are adopting Windows 10 faster than ever before, with 75% of enterprises now running active pilots of Windows 10. But it's not just about the devices. People are enjoying and loving their Windows 10 experience more than ever before. In December alone, over 11 billion hours were spent on Windows 10. They spent over 44 billion minutes in our new Microsoft Edge browser. They've asked the Cortana personal digital assistant over 600 million questions. And they've streamed almost 2 million hours of Xbox One games to their Windows 10 device. And soon, people will be able to enjoy all of these experiences on new Galaxy Tab Pro S. So we're honored to be here with Samsung because of this great new device. But we also share this vision for Windows 10 and Samsung IoT in the home, driving innovation together across the entire Internet of Things. With Samsung, we're excited to have this shared vision of millions and millions of devices and things communicating using open protocols and open standards, creating opportunity for software developers, device manufacturers, and rising star makers around the world. As WP mentioned, platform is integral to Samsung's IoT strategy. And Windows 10 is a platform designed for all devices, including IoT. Windows 10 enables universal Windows apps. Applications can be written one time for phones, tablets, PCs, the Xbox, and IoT, sharing common code. Windows 10 offers rich connectivity APIs, allowing developers to write to one API 
abstracting the myriad of evolving protocols and frameworks underneath to connect to things. Windows 10 offers consistent device management so that all devices, whether it's phones, tablets, PCs, Xboxes, workstations, servers, and IoT, have one consistent management framework supporting industry standards, including enterprise mobility. And of course, all these Windows 10 devices offer enterprise-grade security built deeply into the platform and every layer of the platform, integrating the silicon with the platform to deliver the most secure platform ever, nothing necessary to be added on top. So it's great to see organizations in many industries, from manufacturing, retail, and healthcare, all exploring the possibilities with Windows 10 IoT. But now I thought I'd invite up Brian to show a short demonstration of Samsung devices and Windows 10 IoT working together. Thank you, Terry. How y'all doing this morning? Oh, come on and see us. I'll give you one more chance to be loud and cool. How you doing? <laughs> all right. I'm gonna jump right in. Now, Samsung has a very powerful collection of IoT-ready appliances for the home. And to Terry's point earlier, the Windows Universal platform can do amazing things with data that comes from those kind of devices uh, to, to help consumers be more productive in their home. Uh, so we wanna have a little bit of fun here. I'm gonna show you this, I'm gonna jump right in. Imagine you're doing laundry. Who loves doing laundry? Nobody. Right? One of the things I, I get annoyed with is I get my laundry ready, I put it in the basket, I run downstairs, and somebody's already doing laundry. I wasted a trip. I'm upset now. I don't have to have that kind of problem with an IoT-ready washer or dryer, the, the kind that Samsung makes, and Windows. I can just ask Cortana, and let's do this now. Hey, Cortana, is the washer running right now? Yes, it will finish in 30 minutes. I just bought myself 30 minutes to play Xbox or get some more work done on my Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro S, which is awesome. And uh, I can get a notification fired right here when that, when that wash is done. So let's say I come downstairs to, to, to get my laundry and put it in there. I see whoever was using the washer, they only washed two socks and a shirt. That's ridiculous. You're wasting resources. I want to find out who did this. So imagine we have those keychain sensors and the, like, the, like you have in the monitoring kit and the smart thing suite, right? I can know who's in the house when. I can ask a really cool question on Cortana like this. Hey, Cortana, show me wash loads alongside family members at home. All right, let's try that one more time. Maybe my mic was, uh, let's, let's escape out of that. Get out of there. All right. Hey, Cortana, show me wash loads alongside family members at home. Now, we pulled that data from the cloud that's being pushed on those devices. I can see that's wash capacity per family member. Billy is less than about 15% capacity every single time. Everybody else in the family is doing good. So I'm upset with Billy now. I don't trust him. I want to know what he's doing, what he's wasting, what he's using in my home when he's home alone after school from 3 to 6. So I'm going to find that out right now. And uh, let's do that. Hey, Cortana, what appliances are being used when Billy is home alone? Now, I can see he's watching a lot of TV. Supposed to be doing his homework, that's not cool. But if I scroll down here, look, this is the fridge. If I just somebody grab that there, I can see that the fridge has been opened way too many times. That's what all those little green lines are. And the height of the green line is how long it stayed open. It's been open a total of 16 minutes over an hour and a half. And that black line that's descending, that's the capacity. Billy ate 40% of the fridge in two hours. <laughs> So I can have a good conversation with Billy about his washing, drying, fridge, and eating habits, thanks to this kind of data, which you can do limitless things with. This is a kind of a cute example. Maybe y'all understand. And that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot more on the horizons. Thank you. <laughs> so from the connected workplace to the connected home, we look forward to connecting the world to Windows 10 and Samsung devices. It's an honor to be here with Samsung today to celebrate our renewed partnership. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry and Brian. That was a very interesting demo. <laughs> now, for the third pillar of Samsung IoT strategy, security. And that means data security, because the IoT is generating enormous amount of data. It is obvious to cope, we need incredibly strong security platform. At Samsung, we take IoT data security extremely seriously because there can be only one owner of IoT data, our customers. 
Let us start with our mobile devices. Most of you know about Samsung Knox. It is Samsung's award-winning mobile security platform. It is enterprise-grade and meets the security standards, the so-called common criteria of the world's most demanding governments. It is a best-in-class protection for mobile devices in the IoT ecosystem. Well, if anybody knows about the importance of security, then it will be a bank. No wonder that one of the top organizations in the financial service industry is now using Knox to strengthen its existing security platform. To tell you more, here is Lance Brownstein, the global head of investment banking technology at Goldman Sachs. Lance. Thank you so much, Dr. Wong. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Wong, and good morning, everyone. I am Lance Brownstein, and I'm with Goldman Sachs. And for those of you who don't know us, we are not a consumer electronics firm. We are a bank. And as a bank, we are highly sensitive to securitizing our data and applications for a very simple reason. We manage financial risk for our clients and for our firm. And that really is kind of the foundation of trust. At the same time, we're very motivated by the whole consumerization of the enterprise, and especially when you think about mobile and BYOD, we obviously want to leverage all of the same innovation that you see in the consumer world in the enterprise. So to marry these two sort of orthogonal needs are you know, demand for security as well as the innovation in the consumer world. Um, we invested a few years ago in a suite of technologies it begins with a security container, essentially a piece of software that we run on employee-owned devices that allows us to create a secure container to run our apps. We call that Lagoon. On top of Lagoon, we built a suite of applications for productivity, messaging, collaboration that we collectively call Orbit. But about a year ago, we realized that with this suite of Lagoon and Orbit, in Android in particular, we were challenged in the ecosystem to create these secure zones that we could trust. So we found Samsung was developing at that time Knox, and we found it to be incredibly compelling. And so we partnered with Samsung to integrate Knox with Lagoon. And in particular, what Knox brought to us was the ability to, one, know what was being booted, two, to create validation in our runtime for the operating system, and then finally, they gave us the ability to manage a secure key store. So the combination of Lagoon integrated with Knox with a suite of apps called Orbit running in it, for us really represented true innovation in the enterprise. And we were so excited um, that we thought it was something that we should share. And so we recently announced a partnership with Synchronos to license this platform to other enterprise other enterprises who are similarly, similarly security sensitive. And that's quite exciting, and if you're interested, you should look on the Synchronos website. A lot of the focus, though, to this point for Goldman Sachs has been on tablets and smartphones. So we've thought a lot about securitizing our apps and data in that context, but really, if you think about what we've built, and the partnership with Samsung in particular, we think that that is a security foundation for every other compute environment and device that you could imagine. So, you know, if you're a client of the firm and we want to alert you of a change in your portfolio, that should be, you know, available on a wearable. It should be aware, available in home automation, in your car, right? The relevant content when you need it, targeted to the right person at the right time. And so Samsung's announcements about you know, the Internet of Things and all of the um, new device technologies, as well as their focus on security and platforms, is incredibly exciting for Goldman Sachs. We think that what we've built is a foundation that will take us into the future. And with that, I'm going to stop. Thank you very much, and enjoy the CES. Lance, thank you very much. Of course, we have to bring the same tough security standards to all devices in the smart home. Customers must know for certain that their most private data 
are secure on all IoT devices. That's why we have created a new security solution for smart TVs. It is to home what knocks is to mobile. And the first device to use it, 2016 Samsung Smart TVs. This security solution provides end-to-end -end protection because just like Knox, it is hardwired into the chip. It makes the device and appliances in the home safe and ready for the Internet of Things. Security platforms and the devices, they underpin Samsung's IoT strategy. So let me show you how they power Samsung's IoT solutions at home, in business, and beyond. The role of technology in our home is changing. A device or an appliance now has more than one purpose. Once connected to a hub, it is part of an ecosystem, part of the internet for you. The IoT supports and empowers us anywhere in our home. Let us take a look at in the kitchen. Take a look at the kitchen at the first. Question. Which appliance do we use all the time, 24-7? It is your refrigerator, always in your service. With the power of IoT, a fridge is no longer just a cold storage for food. It becomes a family hub. It is your center for weather news, weather and news, and your digital diary and fam family planner connected to a webcam, and it can be a window to the garden or the room of your kids. Add connectivity, and you can control all the connected things in your home. Of course, this refrigerator also helps you to manage your groceries with a direct link to the online stores of our partners. With MasterCard, we are also building a seamlessly integrated service to restock your fridge with just a few taps. If you, are out, if you are out shopping already, just check your smartphone to see what is inside, inside the fridge. The cameras inside the door take a snapshot every time it is closed. The family hub can even suggest great recipes to match what is inside. Of course, we spend just as much time in our living rooms. That is why we are making our full lineup of smart TVs IoT ready. And the Samsung's 2016 SUH TVs work with SmartThings platform so that they can control, so that you can control your IoT devices on the big screen. You can take charge of your home from the comfort of your sofa, and you can take charge of the IoT hub with your TV from anywhere using your smartphone. Now let me show you a few more things that are finally possible thanks to IoT. When you switch your TV to cinema mood, it will optimize the picture and create that special movie theater feeling by adjusting the sound system and your smart lighting. And if there is somebody at the door, the TV alert will alert you and show you a live video who is there. Samsung brings IoT in sync with your life. That is also true beyond the home. Let us start with the smart mobility and your car. Just outside of this building, you will see a fully operational BMW i3 that lets you monitor and control your IoT experience right from the car dashboard. Soon, it will work both ways. You can check up on your BMW from your smartphone thanks to the SmartThings app. To tell you more how it works, here is a good friend of Samsung Steven Althaus of BMW. Steve?
nothing beats this. Driving to Vegas, driving IoT, and actually driving a BMW. Good morning, everyone. Digital transformation leads to massive change in the automotive industry. The next five years of our industry will see more change than during the past century. Connecting everything is the new standard based on relevance and customer benefits. There used to be boundaries between home, office, car, and smart devices. No more. The CS, you, us, are living proof. There are exciting times ahead. And BMW is uniquely prepared for this. But to take IoT to the next level requires working with world-class partners. Because to deliver the digital transformation and to meet the expectations of our customers, we need to think not just about products, but about services as well. And here's our goal, connecting digital life seamlessly with personal mobility. Samsung and BMW together will create a richer customer experience. This is the digital transformation of your driving experience, integrating IoT and connected mobility. Therefore, your BMW is now your personal IoT cockpit while driving. You control your Samsung ecosystem from inside your BMW. It is seamless, it is safe, wherever you are. So, Samsung and BMW proudly present a customer-ready solution of a SmartThings integration available today. Smart car meets smart home. And as my friend WP said earlier, this is IoT, in sync with real life. And you can experience it at the Samsung booth. But you know, there's actually more. Your BMW becomes an integrated part of the SmartThings ecosystem, even when you're not in your car. With BMW, you are driving IoT. With our help, your BMW becomes a relevant thing in your digital life for new, customer-centric digital experiences. And to power these experiences, we've built the BMW Open Mobility Cloud. The car integrates itself seamlessly by linking the BMW Open Mobility Cloud with the SmartThings ecosystem. Now, car is home and home is car. Where well, once were boundaries, they're now opportunity. Now, how cool is that? By adding the mobility context, we take driving to the next stage. The result, creating even richer customer experiences by working with partners like Samsung and SmartThings. So for example, if you're on a road trip and there's a problem at home, your BMW will tell you. And it does not matter where you are. With your Samsung mobile device, you can take control of your BMW. Shaping the mobility of the future, enjoying sheer driving pleasure in the ultimate driving machine by embracing digital transformation. Again, it's great to be here. The exciting times ahead. Here's to you. Stephen. Thank you. Really, thank you very much thank for you very much. joining us. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, so you have parked your BMW i3. You have gone shopping. Now it is time to pay. Well, if you have Samsung Pay, paying is as easy as pulling out your smartphones because our payment service works virtually in any place wherever you can swipe or tap your card. With Samsung Pay on your mobile device, you have the perfect shopping experience. It is simple and secure. Samsung Pay demonstrates how we can smartly interact with the world around us. Here's our vision for Samsung Pay. Beyond the credit and debit cards, we are expanding our offering to gift cards, store-branded credit cards, a membership, trendy service, and many other useful services that will further enhance the value to our customers. And this year, we are going to bring it to more countries, including the UK, Brazil, and China. The Internet of Things will transform not only the lives of consumers, it will also bring the value for business. Take healthcare and wellness. Thanks to IoT, 
the Samsung bioprocessor can fundamentally change the medical and the fitness industry. Let me invite our friend Chris. Chris, come out. <laughs> Chris, thank you for joining us. How are you doing? Great, many thanks. So, Chris, I believe you are testing our reference uh, platform, SPatch. And uh, can you take a look? Sure. In, in that uh, built in bioprocessor, right? Yes, so the S patch continuously monitors my ECG. Let me show you. This, uh, Can you hold this for a second? Oh, sure, absolutely. Okay, great. Watch as I do a few jumping jacks. Oh, okay. See my heart rate go up? Yes. It went to up to uh, 130 BPM. Not bad. Okay, not bad. Okay. So um, if you want to share your medical data, and uh, with your doctor, can you do that, right? Yes, it's my choice, but if I want to, uh, let's say my doctor needs to monitor me, he cannot do this under real life conditions. So for, for patients so with heart issues, uh, this must be a fantastic safety net. Absolutely, if my heart isn't right, my doctor can call me in for a checkup right away. So as patch, using the built-in bioprocessor is a great way to monitor or persons ahead. Such a technology will prove their value in promoting our patients' health. And health professionals also see the great potential. Let us hear from Dr. S.C. Lee at the Samsung Medical Center in Seoul. Hello, Dr. Hong and everybody at the CES. Uh, my team and I here at the Samsung Medical Center are working on how technology can help us deliver better healthcare. Now, what you've just seen uh, the bioprocessor and the S patch, they make it possible to provide uh, advanced medical care and monitoring without having to keep patients inside the hospital. The health data are collected in real time, which is more precise and ensures a better and faster treatment. With technology like the bioprocessor, we hope that we can detect medical issues before they become a problem. Uh, it's better for the patients and it's better for healthcare budgets. Technology like this really has the potential to revolutionize the industry. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Okay, thank you, Chris. Thank and don't you. forget to take your gloves. Okay, <laughs> stay healthy. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you, Chris. The S patch can be just as useful in the gym. You could create a bioprocessor ecosystem that allows you to analyze your performance and make informed decisions about your personal fitness goals. That is just the start. We are already working with healthcare providers and insurance companies to explore how IoT can contribute to a healthier world. Now, the Internet of Things creates value and boosts productivity across many other industries across the entire value chain, from production to logistics and maintenance. So IoT really helps to innovate and reinvent productivity. Take manufacturing. Companies collect a huge amount of data from the production line. Here is the, here is the challenge. How can we use this data to boost productivity and identify the root causes of chronic or even unknown defects. Making good use of this data is a specialty of Samsung SDS. SDS stands for Solutions, Data, and Systems. It is, it is a Samsung software arm. The intelligent manufacturing solution of Samsung SDS, for example, connects all equipment and devices for big data analytics. As a result, the system can detect anomalies in real time, intervene immediately, and correct the problems and schedule smart maintenance, machine maintenance. The operations manager can even check the system anytime, anywhere. Take the production line at the Samsung Semiconductors. Making a microchip involves many processes and hundreds of steps. There are several hundred thousand sensors that record 3.8 billion data points throughout the fabrication process. It used to take several days to analyze this data. 
thanks to big data analytics from Samsung SDS, it now takes just a few minutes. The result, a massive improvement. We can also analyze visual data, whether they are captured by security cameras or infrared tomography, which hunts for risks in factories. We can automate this as a safety measure to identify hazards and prevent accidents. The industrial IoT is also revolutionizing logistics. Samsung SDS intelligent logistics solution can not only pinpoint the location of shipment in real time, but also helps to prevent theft and the damage. If there is a delay anywhere, the system immediately raises an alert. The result, absolute customer satisfaction. Embedded IoT technology also makes predictive maintenance possible by automatically detecting, fixing, and flagging errors. There are now, there are now IoT solutions for entire life cycle of a product, from production to logistics to maintenance. But we have to think even bigger than that. I have talked about the smart home, smart mobility, smart healthcare, and industrial IoT. The next step is to extend this technology to communities and the cities. The Internet of Things will deliver tremendous value for us personally, for cities where we live, and ultimately for the whole of society. Please have a look. Samsung IoT solutions provide social value that goes beyond personal convenience. It'll create a smart city. It goes beyond mere convenience. Buildings help to protect the environment with efficient energy management systems that minimize costs. As IoT becomes commonplace in the residence, it'll improve our living environment and the working environment for building managers. It makes life better and easier for everyone. Or take stadiums. This IoT solution can help every spectator to get efficiently from the parking lot to their seats. Samsung IoT solutions boost every person's quality of life, reduce costs, and create endless possibilities for everybody. Now it's your turn to enjoy the Internet of Things. Thank you. Is this a future vision? No. Smart buildings and smart residences, they are possible now. Another partner is Escort, a company that runs manages residences around the world. Their vision with Samsung's IoT solutions, they want to take hospitality and the service to the next level. So how does it work? Ling Teng Wei, the chief development officer at Escort, is here to tell us more. Can we? Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Hong. Good morning, everyone. Escort is a company on an innovation journey. We are the world's largest international owner and operator of service residences with a rapidly growing portfolio across 95 cities. As a global leader, we constantly innovate and test new ideas. That is why we are partnering with Samsung. Together, we will pioneer the smart service residence of the future. But driving this future are our customers. They live in the digital age and expect customized services delivered on demand. We see several key trends transforming our industries. 
Number one, mobility. More and more customers are using their mobile devices for every step of their journey, from the search to the booking to checking in as a mobile room key for payment and to check out. Number two, analytics. Thanks to insights from our customer data, we make better business decisions, and our customers will benefit from the improved services. IoT. We call it the internet of real estate. By connecting and integrating all devices in our buildings, we create a safer, healthier, and more convenient living environment for our guests. Number four, the sharing economy. This is becoming ever more important for travelers. That is why Eskert recently invested in Tujia.com, China's largest online apartment booking platform. For Eskert, IoT will help us to know the customer better, improve the customer experience, and achieve higher operational efficiency, privacy, security, and our business competitiveness. With Samsung, we are testing new IoT concepts at the Eskert Innovation Hub in Singapore. They all put the guests in charge. The smart hub can get the home ready for the wake-up call. It can even start brewing your coffee. And guests can control the room temperature from their Samsung mobile device, whether they are at home or away. And IoT sensors will help us achieve better energy savings. In the next few months, we will test these technologies in several selected escort service residences and then roll them out to our other properties around the world. Samsung is our technology partner, and thanks to their great support, Eskert will be the first global service residence company to embrace smart home and smart building technologies. Thank you. Thank you, Tenwei. Samsung is also partnering with the smart city programs of several countries. Because we know we can create the value for all of society. Samsung's IoT device and solutions will help these countries. In Singapore, Samsung is also working with the Singtel and NCS to bring smart living into Singaporean homes. With all the hype surrounding IoT, I think you all agree it was time for a reality check. So, one more time, the future is now. The age of the Internet of Things has begun. It will be a rapid success, but only if we get the fundamentals right. Openness, interoperability, and cross-industry collaborations. Next, we have to deliver on our strategy. Samsung will be at the cutting edge of innovation for components and devices. We will lead the development of open platform to help consumers unlock the power of IoT. And we will focus on security because IoT data can have only one owner, and that is the customer. Unlocking the value of the IoT is an amazing opportunity for all of us as consumers, as a business, and as a society. That's why we and all our partners are working so closely together. And I'd like to ask them to join me here on the stage again. Please. There you go. Thank you very much. Lance, thank you. Thank you so much.